Hey, hey everybody, it's Overkill here with another Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD video. So, the next requested faction was the Kingdom of France. Now, the Kingdom of France is a crazy faction. Here you can see the French King Late. He's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, this is the biggest army um, I've had to showcase yet, and you can see. Um, all of these are unique units. Well, actually, that's not true. These, uh, oh... Some of them have different stats, but in general, they're the same thing. Um, now, with France and England, France and England have the biggest rosters, but what that actually means is units like this, um, anything that says French King, there's like seven variations of it because it's all the different counts and dukes and stuff, and the king, of course. Um, so I decided to just go with the king ones uh, whenever there was an option. But anyway, we'll get into that. So some of these dukes are different, but in general, they're basically the exact same unit. Um, it's just because some are tier... Actually, I don't know. Never mind. Whatever. Let's just get into this. So the French king... Uh, all of these units are heavy shock cavalry, just so you know. But this is the French king. I mean, just look at that. Look at the detail put, it, put into that cloth. Into that cloth armor. They look great. Uh, and then we have the Count of Anjou. And basically, all of these are just different uh, colors, of course. Uh, you can see yellows and blues and stuff, all the different from all the different counties and duchies and stuff. So now we have the Count of uh, Boulogne. See, he's pretty cool. The Count of Dr uh, Drew, Dro. I don't know. Uh, he's cool. I like this one uh, personally. The red looks very nice. Uh, we have the Count of Perish, Duke of Bar, the Duke of Brittany, these look cool as well, uh, the Duke of Normandy, and the early French King, so we have the late and early, of course, because why not? <laughs> so then uh, we move into Cavalry, we have the Grand Arms, now these are like some of the best cavalry in the game, look at the horse armor, isn't that just the coolest thing ever? Full plate armor for horses, guys. It's happened. It's happening. Full plate armor for horses. Damn. Uh, then we have men at arms, which is just, you know, the mounted men at arms. And you have the dismounted men at arms, which are like OP as shit. But again, full plate armor, riders, normal horses. Uh, we have French nobles. A bit more beefy. They look like the typical knight, the big pot helmets. Or not pot helmets, you know what I mean. Uh, we have the knightly retinue of the French King. Now this has like eight variants for all the different dukes and counts. Yeah, a lot of similarities with these uh, with these French knights. Um, there's not that much of a difference here. You can see these guys are slightly less armored. They have uh, uh, padded armor instead of like or padded cloth and stuff instead of real armor. Some guys have like leather and little bits of metal and stuff, but overall not that much. Uh, that was the mounted sergeant's high, by the way. And then we have mounted sergeant's high king or. Uh, French King, rather. High King. Oh my. But yeah, another unit that has like a million variations. And then we have Scouts, which are just light cavalry. Or, well, they're medium, but you know what I mean. Um, so then we move on to Infantry. And you can see there's a lot of it. So starting over here, uh, we have the Foot Men at Arms. And they look awesome. I mean, like, look at those helmets. I love that style of medieval helmet. The big uh, beaked one. They're so awesome looking. Then we have uh, Foot Knightly Retinue, French King. And they look pretty baller as well. Uh, we then have Sergeant's High. They're basically just, you know... Actually, they have axes. Okay, well, they're axemen with the big, the stereotypical big shields, pretty much. Uh, we have French King Sergeant, so that means, yay, what do you know? There's even more Sergeants, lovely, um, for all the different guys. Then there's a Peasants, which come in a huge unit of 200. They're useless, essentially. Um... Do they even have weapons? What are those? Little daggers and clubs and stuff? Oh god. Uh, we have halberdiers. They look awesome. Look at that full plate. I love full plate. I just want Medieval 3 really bad. Not because I like Medieval 2 that much, it's just plate armor and stuff is my favorite. Uh, then we have uh, Heavy Volge Sergeants. Heavy Volgier High. They're ready. They're like, come at me, you bastard. Even though that's like a weird English accent, but. Wee oui, wee, oui, come at me. Oh, oh. oh god. I don't know. Uh, then we have Volge Sergeants of the French King. So again, there's like eight variations of this unit. Uh, Volge Militia. Literally just Volgemen with like 
cloth armor. Uh, we have Pevisiers, obviously named after their shields. So you can't even see them behind. They're like peekaboo. I see you. Oh god, but uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, we have spear sergeants high. Again, cool, cool. Uh, spear sergeants French king. There's eight different kinds of them, or what? Is it eight, nine, ten? I don't know. Uh, we have spear militia, which are of course just you know they're like, hey, here's your cloth. Here's your shitty shield that isn't even. It just has like a layer of paint on it. And uh, here's your little wool cap thing. <laughs> Go on. Uh, and then we have armed peasants, which are apparently better than the other peasants. Because they have a hook thing instead of a club. Alright, then we move into the range unit. So over here, we have the peasant archers. Yep, as much as you could expect from peasants. Uh, we have Scots Guard, which are amazing full plate wearing, or not full plate, but a mix of plate and chainmail wearing archers. Like, look at them, they're so cool. Those are archers, man. Uh, we have, oh, that's still Scots Guard. We have Crossbow Militia. Crossbows, of course, are very good in 1212 uh, because, you know, like everybody's wearing plate. Uh, we have Crossbow Sergeants of the French King. So there's a bunch of these. You can see they're just a mix. It's like a mix between the Scots Guard with crossbows and the just Crossbow Militia. They're just wearing a mix of chainmail and other stuff. Then we have the heavy crosswomen, which are wearing like more leather and studded uh, chainmail stuff. Then we have heavy crossbow sergeants, which are wearing plate and studded vests and stuff. And they look really cool. I like that. I like that uh, style of armor. And then to top it off, we have handgunners because France has access to them. And yeah, it's literally a stick that shoots. So yeah. That is the French army, guys. Uh, of course, there are a bunch more units. There's like eight variations of all the units I told you, so it brings the roster up to a lot. But they're not really any different. I don't know. I don't know if there's any stat differences, so I just decided not to bother showing them. But anyway, we've wasted enough time. Let's actually get into the battle against England. And uh, the balance of power was a lot further in their favor when I was making this army. I'm sorry. But again, like always, this isn't about the battle. This is about showing off the factions, and that's what we're here to do. So let's get to it. So basically what I was thinking of doing was just doing two huge cavalry charges essentially. Uh, the king and all the dukes and stuff would take one flank and all the rest of the cavalry would charge the other. And honestly just the cavalry alone could probably take out most of this army. But uh, whatever. We'll try to make this as entertaining as possible. Right so our dudes are going to march up here. Of course I'm going to have a little bit of FPS uh, stuttering because this is a lot of stuff of course. But yeah, here's the English. You can see them marching up here. They got some good units back here, these swords. They got good cavalry. All the different colors. They look awesome. Uh, and then their kings back here. English versus French. Who will win? But yeah, I mean, like, if I, I, if I just charged with all this cavalry, I'd probably flatten the uh, one of the enemy flanks. Actually, I've fattened both of them. If I charge into these cavalry units, they just die straight up. Right, so um, anybody that can fire heavy shot, do that. And then the gunners, of course, will shoot whatever. Oh, we're taking some fire, probably from enemy longbows. I assume that's what they have. Oh yeah, they definitely do. Alright see them get to work. Probably not going to kill anyone, but... Either way, they're still chipping away at them. Let's see these guns fire. Come on, shoot! Oh, they're reloading them like a crossbow. Nice. Oh, wow, those actually do a lot of damage. Alright, we got a cavalry battle. All the knights charging in here. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. All the white, blue, and red. From uh, looking at it like this. It looks so cool. Anyway, um, yeah, you guys might want to run away. Balistari? I don't think so. Right. All right. Again, like always, um, I want to get this cinematically, so... I'm going to try to charge my guys in. Of course, ah, you're a new guy. You're uh, freezing the game to do orders. Ah, you suck. But I want this. To, I want this to be organized in a way that I can actually catch it, like an epic charge from like a movie or something, 
So, judge me all you want. So here they come. Oh, there's the peasants. I really want to see them charge. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, look at the halberdiers marching in unison. That's so cool. All right, well, the peasants charge in. Look at that. They're fighting people. All right, the more, more of the action's going on over here. Damn. I can't even tell who's who. But that doesn't matter. Alright, let's watch this. Here come the French heavy knights. And they just flatten these spear militia. Nice. Alright. Oh! Oh, it's the peasants, right. That makes sense. Let me see the fight going on down here. My spearmen fighting these these uh these English cavalry. Here's some enemy halberds here. Or billmen. Whatever. Whatever they are. Oh, yeah, we're gonna line up for a nice charge here. Wait, that's like against cavalry? Oh, screw that. Alright, we got another charge coming in here. Here they come. Those men at arms. Dang. The English don't like that. Oh! There goes that guy's head. Oh, wow. The men at arms are just so superior. Oh, look at that. Oh, well, they, we just watched someone get their head ripped off by a mace. Oh, the arrow's flying into that battle. Killing a few of my men. The charge of the peasants. Here they come. The deciding factor of this battle. Yeah. There they go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so sad. I just killed like all of them. Oh boy. Anyway, uh, you can see the English king has pretty much thrown away his unit. Which kind of sucks for him. And here's all the men fighting. Epic. The enemy are losing their advantage. Yeah, losing the advantage that they never had. Actually, yeah, let's go after those guys. Kill those longbow militia. Oh, can you imagine being an archer? And just seeing the French cavalry coming at you like that. Oh my gosh. That'd be so scary. <laughs> Poor guys. Oh well. No remorse. Let's go get them, boys. Let's see if I can catch a few more animations. Let's see if I can catch a few more. Oh! Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, he cut his head off. That was awesome. Anyway, you can see most of the English army is now in flight. Um, because, well, they're getting their asses kicked. But obviously also because I gave them a really bad army. Which I didn't do completely on purpose. But yeah, here we go again. Let's spread these guys out. Charge them in. Oh, whoops. Alright, here they go. They're gonna charge into these poor archers. There we go. then they get destroyed. Alright. So, most of the English army is in flight. Let's try to catch another charge here. These spear militia versus my probably spear militia. Yeah! A clash of spears. These guys look exactly the same. It's literally just the color of the shields that's different. Not even that. It's red and yellow versus yellow and blue. What about the yellow guys? What are they supposed to do?
I don't know. I don't, uh... I definitely don't wish to be in that fight. Alright, here we go. Oh, never mind, they're gone. Awesome. So yeah, they got, uh, they got pretty wrecked. And then these guys are still fighting, good lord. Let's look at all these knights. I mean, look, look at that, look at that mess. That mess of knights. Crazy. Oh, I didn't even use these guys the entire time. Whoops, you guys are probably mad at me for that. I did <laughs> I completely forgot that they existed. Oh boy. Let's see if I can get them to charge these guys. Leave them alone. Let them let them get their Oh no. Shit. No. No. Come back. Come back. Run away, knights. Let them come back. Alright, well, I guess we're still gonna get our charge anyway, so. Screw off victory screen. I wanna see these guys get flattened, especially by the Grendarms. Look at them! <laughs> Full plate. Let's go, go, go. Oh gosh, they're so slow. Oh. The, yeah, the scouts have stolen the glory, it seems. There they go. All that cavalry. <laughs> right. Well, guys, that has been the French faction focus for 1212 AD. Um, if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you're enjoying this little series, uh, please be sure to uh, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be making these for most of the factions because you guys seem to love them. Um, I've already received a request, a request for the Kievan Rus, so they're going to be the next faction. So until then, guys, uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.